Congressman Biggs, great to see you as always. Great to see you. All right, Appreciate so what it. is the latest, uh, what are you hearing about the ultimate outcome of the vote tally in Arizona? That's very, very tight. Um, the president's down by about 11,500 votes. Uh, they've announced that there's roughly 11 to 12,000 votes to count, so that makes it very difficult. You have two lawsuits that are ongoing, one that the, the, the campaign is going to back away from later today because it impacts fewer than 200 votes. You have uh, uh, one that's by the AZ GOP that's in there, and then there's another big tranche of ballots that are under investigation right now, and that would be um, what we call federal-only ballots. And uh, in Arizona, there's about 27,000 of those. And there's a substantial likelihood, since no one has to show citizenship or even identification to get one of those ballots, that a number of those were illegally cast. And right now, uh, based on a very small sample, uh, we think about 35 to 36 percent, maybe maybe slightly higher of those who had those ballots actually cast ballots in the presidential election. So there are still to check and options still to run down. Yeah, yesterday we talked to your colleague, uh, Congressman Paul Gosar, and asked him about his you know, level of confidence in the situation. Also, we, we referenced the fact that the attorney general from Arizona said he's not seeing widespread election fraud. Irregularities, sure, but not enough really here. A lot of smoke, but no fire. What do you say about that? Well, in Arizona, uh, if there was fraud, it looks like it would have been on the front end. So uh, maybe ballot harvesting. Uh, uh, small groups getting together or being uh, bringing uh, ballots in. So that's the that would be the issue with regard to fraud. Um, our our uh, ability to observe is far more transparent than most states. So virtually every ballot that's counted has a Republican and Democrat observer there when they're when they're coming in. So that's that's a little bit more reassuring. Mm. But we still have this this notion of of how many illegals uh, voted uh, in illegal ballots were cast uh, using this uh, federal uh, only ballot. And that's a weird thing uh, because, again, in Arizona, uh, in order to vote in a state election, for instance, you have to show ID uh, to register and to vote, but apparently not in federal only ballots. Mm. 